don't add resistance don't add resistance keep on breathing don't add resistance if you add resistance you hurt yourself and that goes with life too you add resistance to how your life is flowing and the things that you're doing and how god decides to move you you make it harder breathe into it breathe into it keep up baby boy let me lose my breath when the bone that is I yeah breathe into it and don't believe a lie you understand me walk down the valley pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of a feet nothing too crazy just a little hike and a little stretching today i don't have headphones or anything like that which is cool at first i was a little bummed out i'm like damn i don't have headphones i don't have music i'm by myself but honestly this is good because whatever comes up in your subconscious, whatever comes up into your mental space when you're not distracting yourself, that's actually what you need to bring awareness to. I'm out of breath, clearly. This hike is not a joke. We distract ourselves every day, all day. Stretching is therapeutic. This is how you can stretch when you don't have anything like a mat or anything like that. You can use a wall, a brick, a freaking boulder, <laughs> a rock, or you can just stand here and stretch. When you are stretching, though, use your breath. So you inhale to actually like set yourself up, inhale. And then you exhale to stretch into wherever you are. Why? Because when you connect your breath to your movement, then you go deeper and you go into a meditative state. But when you're just like, you could pull a muscle, you could do anything because you're not connecting your breath. It gets tighter. It doesn't really feel good. You want to connect your breath to your movement at all times. That's really important. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. That's all. It ain't that serious. Y'all take stretching seriously sometimes. And I'm just like, I'm just stretching. The only reason why I'm as flexible as I am is because I keep doing it. That's it. <laughs> I was not born flexible. This is not something that I just been with all of my life. It's just because I keep stretching. And when you keep doing something, you just naturally get better. You get deeper. It gets easier. It gets not necessarily easier. It gets more, you just understand it better. Okay, let's keep walking. When I first moved here, I used to hike all the time by myself every morning at like 6 a.m. Why? Because the internet told me to. <laughs> we are so influenced these days, so influenced. We don't even realize why we're doing certain stuff. We just do it. Some of those things we actually need to do anyway. But make sure you know your why. Know your why. <sighs> but it feel good. What time I gotta be to work? That's the real question. Y'all know I'm an assistant manager. It's hard. <laughs> I'm working 40 hours a week teaching private sessions and a full-time yoga instructor. Don't waste my time. Okay, let's do some more stretching. Why else do you stretch, Karisha? Well, when you feel that um, muscle start to release, you start to release. You can actually feel the decompressing happening too. Inhale, exhale, and you just stay there and breathe. Don't add resistance. Don't add resistance. Keep on breathing. Don't add resistance. If you add resistance, you hurt yourself. And that goes with life too. You add resistance to how your life is flowing and the things that you're doing and how God decides to move you, you make it harder. Don't add resistance. Breathe into it. Breathe into it. Keep up, baby boy, let me lose my breath. When the bone that is I. Yeah, breathe into it. Can we also talk about the fact that I am a young lady from Detroit, Michigan, on the west side of Seven Mile, and I live in LA. And for my downtime, I decide to go hiking and go on a stretch walk. Not a stretch walk. I decide to go hiking and stretch and walk. <laughs> That's crazy. That's wild. That's God. I ain't the only one. It's other, other black women too. It's easy. <laughs> I've told y'all, black people always support you. <laughs> One of my favorite stretches is the straddle. I love the straddle. Legs out, toes in, heels out, arms out. Inhale, exhale, lead with your chest flat, back going down. 
see how I am still looking up. I do it from the side. Lead with your chest and going down. Flat. Lead chest forward. Toes. Weight is in your toes. Weight is in your toes. Ankles. Chest is going to the back, not to the floor. Nose is to the floor, not to the back. You want to be able to fold completely. Oh, you can go around. It's okay. I'll cut it or not. Okay. You're like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, a little bit. I'm a yoga instructor. Yeah. And starting to get into the habit of posting on YouTube more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> I love black people. <laughs> You're going to feel the stretch in your hamstrings first. And that's good. You still want to keep leading forward. Ankles. Keep leading. Fold. Elbows are going to bend. This is going to keep you from curling over if your elbows come out instead you want to bend and flatten it's an active stretch it's active you can't just fold and like let loose and let it all go because if you do that then you're going to start to curl and hunch in your back you can reach up and press it, press your hips back you can do that because the idea is that you come forward anyway so inhale and then exhale you can fold with your hands here oh don't hit me or you can put your hands at your thighs but whatever you do, just keep leading forward, forward, nose, gaze, chest. Everything goes forward. Legs out longer. See how if you start to curl, lift up, bend, fold, bend, fold. Come out further, get more in your hips, 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 hips. The wider you are, the more you focus on your hips. Bend, 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 nose to the floor not curling down you don't see me doing that i'm leading with my nose pressing my chest back counter stretch pulling your ankles and pulling your chest back lead in your toes see how that made a difference in your toes weight in your toes okay that's where you want to be Whew. good job try it make sure before he, you deep stretch you work out like you do some little jump jacks or something i don't know these are something but go for a run or a hike or a walk, anything. Warm up your body before you start stretching and crazy stuff because you could pull a muscle, especially if you don't stretch normally, you could pull something. So warm up the body first. You ain't got to be sweating bullets, but you need to be warm. All right, last stretch. This is a stretch that's not only going to increase your hamstring flexibility, but it's also going to make you very strong. Okay, this is a halfway lift, hold, whatever you want to call it. You go into a reach, forward, fold. I mean, half lift. You go all the way half. This isn't half. You see how my L is still like slanted? You're going to come lower like that. Nice. And then you reach your arms forward. You bend your knees slightly. You look down. And now you have a stretch on your lower spine and in your hamstrings. Now you hold this for a few seconds. Oof, you don't feel the burn. But if you ever have lower back pain, come into this stretch. You'll like it, okay? It's a lot of strength going on here. Your core is holding you up and then you come up like so. We think about these stretches, this feel real good because you got the whole side body bend. Like you got that whole, always here. Tell you how to stretch through your toe too. Don't have stretch. You know how people be like, don't have ass, don't have stretch. Stretch through your toes and your fingertips. Like really reach. Even float it if you need to. Float, reach. You know, really stretch your body. Get into your body, okay? You can go around. You don't have to walk on the corner. Sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, <laughs> do not risk your life for a camera. <laughs> Keep reaching. When you start to feel that stretch in your lower back, then you know you're in the right place. It's an active stretch. <sighs> That's a full body stretch. Ooh, bend your knees and come up. You're going to feel that. If I felt it, you're going to feel it. Every stretch, it doesn't matter how strong you are. I mean, how flexible you are, you're going to feel it. If you're doing it right, you're going to feel it. This was, a, this was a nice hike. This is a nice hike. Good job. The things that you're able to create when you just go with the flow and don't be disobedient, when you wake up in the morning and you get an idea to do something and then you automatically start to think about the reasons why you can't do that. Maybe you don't have something. Maybe it's not going to be this. Maybe you got to do whatever. The moment you start to go against that, you fucking up your flow. Stop getting in the way of your flow. Stop playing with yourself.
don't try to do it perfectly. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Flow through it one step at a time. You got it. You on a hike with me. Don't worry about what's going to happen after and next. You That's not in your business. Now you're trying to jump in the future like you got and you're not. So stop doing that. Stay present. Stay present. By yourself. Influence yourself. Inspire yourself. Influence yourself. Inspire yourself. Influence yourself. Inspire yourself. Stop allowing the outside world to determine how you move. Listen to your own ideas, your own thoughts, and watch how creative you get. <laughs> you